In this topic, I'd like to talk about the overview of electronic reporting. First, let's navigate to the electronic reporting workspace. I can expand the workspaces and I scroll down and click on the electronic reporting workspace. Instead, I make it a favorite so I can view it from favorite menu for future use. Or I can view it from the dashboard. From either nodes, if I click on it, I get directed to electronic reporting workspace, which is titled as localization configuration. Electronic reporting is a tool that you can use to configure formats for both incoming and outgoing electronic documents in accordance with the legal requirements of various countries or regions. For example, you can adopt new regulatory requirements and generate business documents in the required format to electronically exchange information with government bodies, banks, and other parties. In Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations app, we also know electronic reporting as either ER or GER. So anytime I refer to ER or GER, it will stand for electronic reporting. The ER engine is targeted at business users instead of developers because within this framework, you will configure formats instead of writing codes. Therefore, the processes of creating and adjusting formats for electronic documents are much faster and easier. ER currently supports the following formats, text, XML, Microsoft Word documents, and OpenXML worksheet. However, an extension interface provides support for additional formats. Electronic reporting supports two types of components, data model and format. A data model component is an abstract representation of a data structure. It's used to describe a specific business domain area with enough detail to satisfy the reporting requirements for that domain. It consists of the following parts. A data model, which is a set of domain-specific business entities and a hierarchically structured definition of relations between those entities and a model mapping that links selected application data sources to individual elements of the data model. At the runtime, it specifies the data flow and rules of business data population to a data model component. A business entity of a data model is represented as a container, which we know it as a record. Business entity properties are represented as data items, which we know it as fields. Each data item has a unique name, label, description, and value. The value of each data item can be designed so that it's recognized as a string, integer, real, date, enumeration, boolean, and so on. Additionally, it can be another record or record list. A single data model component can contain several hierarchies of domain-specific business entities. It can also contain model mappings that support a report-specific data flow at runtime. The hierarchies are differentiated by a single record that has been selected as a root for model mapping. For example, the data model of the payment domain area might support both a payment for accounts receivable and accounts payable. Note that the business entities such as company and payment transactions are designed one time. Therefore, different mappings then reuse them. A model mapping that supports outgoing electronic documents has the following capabilities. It can use different types as data sources for a data model. For example, it can use tables, data entities, methods, or even enumerations. It also supports user input parameters that can be defined as data sources for a data model when some data must be specified at runtime. Surely it supports the transformation of data as well into required groups. It also lets you filter, sort, and sum data and append logical calculated fields that are designed through formulas that resembles Microsoft Excel formulas. Along from the data model, 
A model mapping that supports incoming electronic documents can use different updatable data elements as targets, which include tables, data entities, and views. The data can be updated by using the data from incoming electronic documents. Multiple targets can be used in a single model mapping. A model mapping supports user input parameters that can be defined as data sources for a data model when some data must be specified at runtime. As a summary, a data model component is designed for each business domain that should be used as a unified data source for reporting that isolates reporting from the physical implementation of data sources. It represents domain-specific business concepts and functionalities in a form that makes a reporting format's initial design and further maintenance much more easier and efficient. Let's see how electronic reporting deals with format components for outgoing electronic documents. A format component is the scheme of the reporting output that will be generated at runtime. A scheme consists of a format that defines the structure and content of the outgoing electronic documents that is generated at the runtime. You also need data sources as a set of user input parameters and a domain-specific data model that uses a selected model mapping. Therefore, a format mapping has a set of bindings of format data sources that have individual elements of a format that specify, at runtime, the data flow and rules of format output generation. A format validation has a set of configurable rules that control report generation at the runtime, depending on the running context. For example, there might be a rule that stops output generation of a vendor's payments and throw an exception when a specific attributes of the selected vendor are missing. For example, the vendor is missing the bank account number. A format component supports the following functions. Creation of reporting output as individual files in various formats, such as text, XML, Microsoft Word document, or worksheet as well as multiple files separately and encapsulation of those files into zip files. A format component lets you attach specific files that can be used in the reporting output, such as Excel workbooks that contain a worksheet that can be used as a template for output in the OpenXML worksheet format. The Word files that contain a document that can be used as a template for output in the Microsoft Word document format, and other files that can be incorporated into format's output as predefined files. To run a single electronic reporting format configuration and generate an outgoing electronic document, you must identify the mapping of the format configuration. In this illustration, I showed you how the data flows for these formats for outgoing electronic documents from Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation app, which we know it as an application data, and how it will be converted by using electronic reporting to different formats as an outgoing documents. In the electronic reporting, a format component is the scheme of incoming document that is imported at runtime. A scheme consists of a format that defines the structure and content of the incoming electronic document that contains data that is imported at runtime. A format component is used to parse an incoming document in various formats such as text and XML. A format mapping 
that binds individual format elements to elements of a domain specific data model is another part of the scheme. At runtime, the elements in the data model specify the data flow and the rules for importing data from an incoming document and then store the data in a data model. Another part of the scheme is a format validation as a set of configurable rules that control data import at runtime, depending on the running context. For example, there might be a rule that stops data import of a bank statement that has a vendor's payments and throw an exception when a specific vendor attributes are missing. For example, the vendor identification code. To run a single electronic reporting format configuration to import data from an incoming electronic documents into Dynamics 365 Finance and App, you must identify the desired mapping of a format configuration and also the integration point of a model mapping. You can use the same model mapping and destinations together with different formats for different types of incoming documents. In this illustration, I showed you how the incoming documents can flow into the application data, which in our case would be finance and operation apps. Thank you.